Hi, it's Daniel here. Uh, today we're going to take a look at registry keys that you cannot delete. And what we're trying to delete manually here are registry keys relating to Juniper Networks VPN software. This software is a sloth. It is far from being good software. It's convenient, but it does not work well and it crashes constantly. Um, so what we're going to do here is basically what we're looking at here is this package moniker key. Um, and the other two keys here as well are related to the software. The software was removed and should have been ripped out in whole or in full, but uh, for whatever reason um, some of the reg registry keys related to uh, the trusted installer would not remove or did not remove. So what you can see here, we have the um, these keys are are they're plastered all over the place. So I'm just using the search function, but we don't we don't need this entire structure here. But of course, I'll show you that I go to delete it. Yes, I want to delete it, and then it says you can't delete it. Um, just like files and folders on your computer, if you don't have permissions be able to delete it. It looks like it's deleted here by the way, but it's not. If we click back on it, the stuff's still there. So if you right click on the registry key, and it, it, it doesn't matter so much if, if you want to delete one key or a, um, if you want to delete one key or all keys, you still have to change the, the permissions here. Okay. So right click on it, go to permissions, um, you would go to the, the advanced button here, and then you can see the owner of it is trusted installer, click on change, okay this is Windows 8.1 but this is typically the same for all versions of Windows, um, currently we're only supporting Vista and higher anyway, but it will be the, uh, typically the same for all of them. Uh, my username is Daniel. I always just check names to make sure that you didn't type it in wrong, that, it's, that it, the computer system recognizes that that is a local user. And click OK. Replace owner on subcontainers and objects. So that means these objects. Okay, so you want to make sure that's, uh, that's selected or checked off. And then click OK. Click OK. Now that that's been finalized, you're going to right click on it again, go back to permissions, and in the groups or usernames, just add, add yourself, check names just to ensure that it's correct and the system recognizes it, click OK. Once you're there, make sure you give yourself full control. And the reason you can do this is because you're the owner of this object. So now that you're the owner, you can add yourself to do anything that you want to it. And that's what we're doing. Full control. Click OK. Now when I go to delete the object and I say yes, it's deleted. Okay, if there's any comments or questions, uh, certainly post in the comments below. Ciao.